Testing one, two. Okay, I'm assuming this is working pretty well. I'm meteorologist Austin Audick. This is Weather Overtime. Merry Christmas from downtown Memphis and happy other holidays going on across the Mid-South area. See, that was simple. We have, again, some quiet conditions for right now. No major problems for Santa. He's in the air and making his rounds. If you'd like to see more about that, go to WREG.com slash weather. Rest of the day today, forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Showers, thunderstorms early tonight. Chances of just clouds and some drizzle out there. Temperatures today way above normal back into the 60s in the green triangle and low temperatures tonight in the 50s across much of the area we're talking about some very warm temperatures out there as winds are going to be turning back around at the, out of the south for the most part and giving us some much warmer conditions out there whether where the troops are some of our webcams and your complete forecast here we go with again our christmas eve forecast for the mid-south some spotty showers out there and never thought i'd be saying this how about an iced coffee for christmas our exclusive cough temp decks as we look into the future and taking a look at what your coffee beverage temperature recommendation based on whether firmly tongue-in-cheek recommendation index should be looking at maybe an iced coffee for Christmas yeah it doesn't look like a hot cup of coffee would be the best idea out there for today considering temperatures are going to be that warm remember your coffee your business always make certain it's too hot before you burn your lips or other pieces of your anatomy on that looking at chances of showers and thunderstorms mainly covering the area very mild numbers out there highs back in the upper 50s to lower 60s with waning chances of showers but still the potential of a rumble of thunder as we go throughout the course of the next several hours rain and drizzle around city hall in germantown just north of the area of germantown high school you can just barely see poplar pike on the right hand side of your screen windai country club a few hearty souls out there trying to get a few golf balls around the course but the ground fog also being seen across parts of the area Windyke Country Club to Heidelberg Elementary WRAG.com slash webcams quiet and looking at fairly wet around Heidelberg in Clarksdale, Mississippi. That also at WRAG.com slash webcams. Ole Miss, very quiet for the Christmas Eve day, and things pretty quiet on campus, a little bit misty and foggy out there. Rainy at Power Center Academy in Memphis from our Weatherbug Network and a wet parking lot there. And Olive Branch, Mississippi, as day dawns, not much sunlight out there, plenty of clouds and some rainfall as the Christmas tree is lit and City Hall looks like it's very festive for the holidays coming up. Almanac for precipitation, a third of an inch yet yesterday that brings us up above normal to a quarter of an inch above for the month so we're doing relatively okay pretty close to normal for December and about six inches plus for the year surplus so we're ending it looks like unless things greatly change on a very big surplus note for the year not doing too bad 62 and 40 the high and low temperature yesterday respectively 50 and 34 is where we should be 13 degrees below zero our biggest all-time record low set back in 1963 and a record high that hasn't been broken since last year, 76 degrees. We may get into the 60s today, 70s into tomorrow. We'll take a look and see what our record high is for the one there. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures not doing too bad out across the Mid-South, but it's going to be very much on the mild side, not seeing anything in the way of very cool weather heading our way anytime soon. Rest of the day, spotty showers lingering off and on, nothing huge taking place right on in through dinner time, and temperatures back in the upper 50s to around the mid-60s for high temperatures today. That is, again, way above normal for this time of the year. Christmas Eve services, temperatures remain very mild, maybe a jacket to ward off the showers, but that's about it. A rumble of thunder possible, and by the time mom and dad are up with the kids unwrapping the presents early on Sunday morning, temperatures looking still very mild, mid to upper 60s, heading for the 70s in parts of the area by Christmas night, and temperatures going back into around the mid to upper 60s for the time we get toward News Channel 3 at 10 Christmas night. Rest of the day today, a few showers and a few thunderstorms, mainly in the morning, showers lingering throughout the rest of the day. Coming back as cool tomorrow morning, mid to upper 50s, just above our normal high temperatures for this time of the year. Showers and a few thunderstorms possible as we get into around the rest of the forecast for tomorrow and widespread showers and thunderstorms for Monday into early on Tuesday as well. Rest of the week cools off closer to normal Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Even cooler back below normal for a change on Friday as we wrap up the last Friday of 2016 and head into New Year's Eve. Upper 40s, dry, no percentage of precipitation expected right now. For New Year's Day with 2017 baby ringing things in, 
It's going to be in the 40s, but also chances of showers coming back, and that also for the first Monday of 2017. Temperature is pretty close to normal, so it doesn't look like anything frozen going on there. So definitely good news on that front. Anybody who's stationed in Iraq, temperatures in the 40s and 50s in the northern part of the country with rain around Mosul and Baghdad, 70s down toward Basra and rain and sun down toward Najaf into the Persian Gulf. Temperatures in the 70s, partly to mostly cloudy across much of the area from Riyadh to Kuwait, Doha and Bahrain. And also looking again at pretty quiet conditions across much of the rest of our weather where the troops are, weather where you may have friends or loved ones stationed out there. 30s around Kabul, 40s around and Herat into around portions of Af major winter systems heading on through. And to the DMZ, the Korean Peninsula, South Korea, temperatures 40s around Pusan, down to the southeastern part of the country, and mid 30s around Taegu and Kunsan, lower 30s just below freezing around Chuncheon. I'd like to see more of this, go to wrg.com slash weather for more information. Also tune in for my complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend, Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and download our app from your particular device's app store, search WREG Weather. Have another check of your complete forecast coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3, and looking again at the possibility of more showers into the next several days. We'll talk more about that. Again, more questions or concerns or comments, austin.onic at WREG.com, and we'll have more information for you again throughout the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's Video Weather Blog, Weather Overtime.